Today I would like to introduce you to my new painting, which I call Dreams Come True. And this painting about this uh, beautiful couple, Holly and Johnny. You know, when first time I met these young people and get to know them a little bit, I thought, well, if I ever paint this couple, I would make Johnny a tooth fairy. This is because I learned that he is a dentist. You know, when my kids were little and every time when we would go to the dentist, I would always would tell them, we are going to tooth fairy today. I would never say the word dentist. But I didn't know how would I represent um, Holly. And uh, when the time came and I really decided that I'm going to paint this painting. I started to pray about it and the image came to me and Holly, I saw Holly like a beautiful princess, like a sleeping beauty. And I thought, oh, what a great idea. And uh, then I start to thinking how I'm going to put everything together and um, later came to me a name and I knew it was going to be a new series and uh, the name came to me which I believe from the Lord and it's the happiness need to be guarded and better together. Well I thought what a great name uh, and I need to think how and what scriptures and then I received the scripture and it was Luke uh, 6 46 to 49 and I would like to read to you the scripture why do you call me Lord Lord and do not do what I say as for everyone who comes to me and hear my words and put them into practice I will show you what they are like they are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hear my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck the house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. What a great example to show how to create this strong foundation. Uh, the secret is, as closer we, uh, man and woman, Get to Jesus like this is closer we get to each other. This is so very simple and profound. But how do we do this? Well, as usually it's the Bible. Bible it's a key for everything. And I would like to read you a scripture from 1st John 4 16 and we have known and believed the love which God has for us God is love and the one who abides in love abides in God and God abides in him God is love and as closer we get to love God as closer we get to his word as more we learn about his love and the way love loves us is more and quicker we become from a hungry caterpillar in a, into a beautiful butterfly so what the butterfly does butterfly 
give its beauty. And where the butterfly get its beauty? The butterfly get its beauty from Jesus and from his word. And again, as more we learn his word, as more we learn about love. This is easy, but we need our effort. We need our effort to open the Bible. By studying his word, we study how to love. We study from and we learn from his example and from other examples from the Bible. Bible is our life manual which left to us by God. God gives us life and he is the one who knows the best how to live this life safely. Could you imagine road without laws? When drivers do not need to pass their driving test, they just come out on the road and everyone do whatever they feel like. No road manual, no responsibilities, no nothing. Would you like to go on the road like this? I wouldn't dare. <laughs> And, uh, but we somehow manage to live our lives with this common saying, don't tell me what to do. You know, in Russia, people say this very often, but also at the end, they would say, but better help me financially. <laughs> but you know, God covers this part as well. For example, in Deuteronomy, it actually tells us, God telling to us, but it is me, God, who give you the power to get wealth. And if we go in the Hebrew of the scripture, which I learned from my teacher, my spiritual teacher who pointed out, look up in the Hebrew, and it's actually before, uh, before the word God and Yahweh in the Hebrew, it's actually stay in these letters which I'm translated. It's Aleph and Tav, which is a first and last letter of Hebrew alphabet. Same if it's, it says in Revelation, I am the Alpha and Omega, and the first and the last. So what is it telling to us? Actually, it's a signature of Jesus. He actually put his signature when he said, I'm, I'm the one he give you power to get wealth. So we have to remember, no matter what, God's worst is the first and the last in our lives. But what about our heroes, our beautiful sleeping princess and handsome tooth fairy? Like in all stories, he kissed the princess and they get married and they start to build their beautiful castle on a very strong foundation which is our Lord Jesus Christ and they decided together that they going to learn together how to guard their happiness and by the way our beautiful princess has now a personal tooth fairy
happiness is really important in our marriage and it's really important to God and um, that the happiness in our marriage and um, when we were thinking about this um, I it just reminded me of when we first got together and we just did nothing but look at each other and, and laugh <laughs> all of the time um, and although that doesn't happen it doesn't continue to happen sorry I do think that it was that that kind of 
that lovely childish um, giggles and laughter um, that we would just spend hours together um, doing, which was so much fun. And it, it changes that that happiness, is, the way it's displayed, does change the more that you're with someone. But it's really happy to maintain that that happiness together, isn't it? Um, I think for me, um, is what I've learned in marriage. <laughs> Whatever happiness looks like in your marriage is to not bring past hurt into it um, and, and not to place that onto your other half. So for me, my dad left me when I was 13 years old um, and then on a subconscious level, I, I just assumed, okay, all men are going to hurt me, all men are going to leave me and I'm never going to be happy. But that wasn't fair that I placed that on, on my husband and on Johnny and I've learned not to to take that and to, to allow God to heal that so that we can have our happiness in, in our marriage. Yeah. And for me, the picture, you know, it represents every day of our lives and we just laugh and we have a, we have a lot of jokes and we like to make fun of each other, but not too much, but we just <laughs> we laugh so much. Like we just take them out of each other all the time. And um, I just think it reminded me, especially, you know, that Kind of the same way you would you would clothe yourself with Christ every every morning. You kind of have to rediscover your joy and your laughter and your love and happiness with, in terms of that side that you fell in love with originally. And I think for us, we would just go days of you know like just laughing about nothing and not being able to eat our food, just laughing. And um, yeah, this just really represents. I feel like it really represents what we kind of seen each other that laughter and that joy and. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I think my favourite part is uh, Johnny's cheeky smile. Um, he's often up to no good. <laughs> he often looks at me um, with that lovely cheeky smile that's, that I love. What's on you? Hold it. Fall in love. There you go. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> she would eat the duck one. She would definitely eat the duck one. Oh, she likes it. I think uh, the crown for me was uh, was a lovely idea because I've always, every little girl, mainly every little girl's dream is to, is to be a princess and although in the kingdom of God we are all royalty and we are all princesses and princes, when I was little I didn't feel like that. So it was really lovely to have um, the, the crown because I did feel like, very much like a princess. <laughs> like your princess. And I always wanted to be a dentist and uh, I'm just glad that they managed to paint me as a dentist. So. <laughs> Brilliant. That's a dream come true, so. <laughs> Are you recording? This is awkward. Mmm, <laughs> it is good, but it is for late. Thank you, my God. Did you bang your tongue? I've always, every little girl, mainly every little girl's dream is to, is to be a princess. And I always wanted to be a dentist, and uh, I'm just glad that they managed to paint me as a dentist, so <laughs> brilliant. That's a dream come true. So. Thank you.
Thank you.